Hello viewers, dear teachers, friends and students. Welcome to this video. I am Mahantesh Babri, teacher of English. Today I have brought before you a beautiful and valuable video on English grammar. Name of the topic, future perfect time, which is very important in English grammar. This tense shows the perfection of an action in future time. It means that this tense mainly tells us about the action which will have to complete in future time. So, Atmiya Vidhyarthigale, E Vandu Kaladali, Ghatani Atva Karevu, Bavishadali, Mugyu Mugyudana, Suchus the day, under Bavishadali, Akalasa, Purna Gulodana, Suchus the day. So, it tells about the completion of the action in future time. It starts in future time and it ends in future time. In brief, action or work will be completed in future. Bavishadaline Karya. How can we use this tense in our daily life? Use this. To say something will be ended in future. If we want to tell something about which will end in future. Say for example, we shall have finished our work by that time. Or we can say we shall have finished that work at 6 a.m. Like this. So, Second use, to describe the future events in certain way. If you want to describe future event, events or actions in certain way or you are planning also, you can tell. Say for example, she will have completed the exam at 5 p.m. tomorrow. She completes her, her exam at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So this is the way how you can use this tense. So let's go to guidelines are rules how to construct sentences in this tense first guideline we should use helping verb shall have in case of first person both singular and plural i we in case of i we pronounce we have to use helping verb shall have so second rule we should use helping verb will have in case of second and third person both singular and plural you, you, he, she, it, they. In case of pronouns like you, you, he, she, it, they, we have to use helping verb will have. Third guideline, we should use third shape of verb that is V3 here. Atmi vidyarthigale, I, we antakanta sarva namagal bandre, shall have enva sahayka kriya padavan barasveku. Yerne rule, you, you, he, she, it, they and the Kanta Savanamagal Vandre will have in was a haika Kriya Padavana, Balsbeku, Murne Dagi, Ili Kriya Padada, Murane Rupavana, Murne Rupona, Balsbeku. So here are the three guidelines to construct sentences. So let's learn this sentence with examples and kinds of sentence. Firstly, positive sentence. I have taken here verb complete. Andre Purna So V1 complete, V2 completed, V3 completed. Here we have to take a third shape of verb that is V3 completed. Helping verb shall have or will have. Structure, subject plus helping verb plus V3 plus object. Let's learn it in detail with example. I shall have completed this work tomorrow. Nanu nale e kalasavana Purna Golisirveno. We shall have completed this work tomorrow. Now, Nali Ekalswana, Purna Golisirvevu. You will have completed this work tomorrow. Ninu Nali Ekalswana, Purna Golisirvi. You will have completed this work tomorrow. Ninu Nali Ekalswana, Purna Golisirvi. He will have completed this work tomorrow. Avanu Nali Ekalswana, Purna Golisirvano. She will have completed this work tomorrow. Avalu nale e kalasavana purna gulisirvalu. It will have completed this work tomorrow. Adu nale e kalasavana purna gulisirvalu. They will have completed this work tomorrow. Avalu nale e kalasavana purna gulisirvalu. Dear students, if you find shall have or will have as helping verb and V3 in the sentence, then consider it as it comes under positive sentence of Future perfect time. Atmi with article shall have atwa will have in Mosa Haka Kriya Padabandu Kriya Pada the Murne Rupa Wakya the Libandidre Adakinao Future 
ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಈ ಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳನ್ನ ಆಧಾರವಾಗಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡೇ ನಾವು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿಎಸ್ ವೈಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳನ್ನ ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸು ವಿ ಒನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ವಿ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಶಾಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆರ್ ಓಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಶಾಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ನಾನು ನಾಳೆ ಈ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸಿರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ನಾವು ನಾಳೆ ಈ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸಿರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ you won't have completed this work tomorrow neenu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla you won't have completed this work tomorrow neenu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla he won't have completed this work tomorrow avanu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla she won't have completed this work tomorrow avalu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla it won't have completed this work tomorrow adu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla they won't have completed this work tomorrow avaru naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudilla dear students if you find helping verb shall not have or shan't have or won't have and third shape of verb and full point at the end then you must recognize it it comes under negative sentence of future perfect time atni vidyarthigale vakyadalli shallant have or shan't have or won't have bandu kriya padada moorne roopa bandu koneyalli full point bandidre adu naavu ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಈ ಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳನ್ನ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಗೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸು ವರ್ಬ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ plus v3 plus v3 plus object plus question mark let's learn it with example shall i have completed this work tomorrow question mark nanu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvene shall we have completed this work tomorrow navu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvene will you have completed this work tomorrow neenu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvene will you have completed this work tomorrow neevu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvene will he have completed this work tomorrow avanu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvane will she have completed this work tomorrow avalu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvale will it have completed this work tomorrow adu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvade will they have completed this work tomorrow avaru naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvare so dear students and friends if you find will or shall at the starting point of the uh, sentence and have and v3 and uh, question mark at the end then consider it this sentence comes under uh, positive interrogative sentence of future perfect time atni vidyarthigale vakyada prarambhadalli shall athwa will bandu munde have v3 koneyalli question mark bandidre adu now future perfect time the positive interrogative sentence anthe heli karithive ee lakshanagalanna lakshnalli idbeku next we shall go for last type of sentence that is negative interrogative sentence verb complete poornagolisu v1 complete v2 completed v3 completed here we have to take v3 verb number 3 completed helping verb shan't have or shallant have or won't have structure helping verb plus not in short form subject plus have plus v3 plus object plus question mark question mark is very important here let's learn it with examples shallant ha shallant i have completed this work tomorrow question mark nanu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave shallant we have completed this work tomorrow now naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't you have completed this work tomorrow neenu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't you have completed this work tomorrow neevu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't he have completed this work tomorrow avanu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't she have completed this work tomorrow avalu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't it have completed this work tomorrow question mark adu naale ee kelasavanna poornagolisiruvudillave won't they have completed won't they have completed this work tomorrow 
ಅವರು ನಾಳೆ ಈ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಪೂರ್ಣಗೊಳಿಸಿರುವುದಿಲ್ಲವೇ ಸೊ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಶಾಲಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಶಾಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಓಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಗೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಕ್ಯದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಶಾಲಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದದ ಮೂರನೇ ರೂಪ ಬಂದು ಕೊನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಗೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಗುರುತಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಡೇ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಶೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಹೋಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ dear students it is happy work or homework for you you have to construct the sentences by taking two verbs pass pass agu write bare write you have to write these uh, verbs in four kinds of sentence positive negative positive interrogative and negative interrogative sentence that we discussed just now so if you do this exercise definitely you will get perfection in constructing sentences in future perfect time so thank you for uh, watching this video please subscribe to our youtube channel for uh, future notification so thank you take care and be at home